after that, the tour bus took us back to the boat. Before long, we were arriving at the island of Patmos. <laughs> this is the Greek life. Boats, boats, food, swimming, a summer. We had a couple of places we wanted to hit on Patmos. As soon as we got onto the island, it was later in the day than we really wanted. Zeki had a monastery of nuns that she wanted us to visit, but they closed fairly early in the evening. So our introduction to Patmos was <laughs> rushing down these amazing stone streets and alleyways with these beautiful stuccoed buildings all connected with each other and it was a, an aesthetic and amusing experience and I really, I'm not even sure how to describe it. Guys, you know, just um, because you might get lost on the... We're on a mission. We're hoofing it in this just charming setting that you really want to just slow down and absorb it, but we're rushing to get to this monastery in time. It's in the door right here. Makiji, you see where we're going here? Yes, thank you. I thought that felt like there was a step there. Unfortunately, by the time we got to the monastery, it was closed. It was very sad, but we were able to access the courtyard. Oh, this is pretty here. And through those doors is, I think, a chapel. Zephy really had hoped to show us the painting of the Madonna in the vestibule of the chapel. Come and focus. Like, come and focus this way. Which way? This way. This is that, that big one over there where all the, the silver is. The picture? On yeah. And I could just barely get a glimpse of it with the camera through the glass doors. Oh, it's very similar to the one that was in downtown Athens. Mm -hmm. Partly because of the angle and partly because of where the sun was coming in and making a glare. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. See if you can focus on that. Yeah. Let's at least get the photo. And I had a little trouble even figuring out what she wanted me to take a picture of. So we can see. Oh, good for you. Because I couldn't see it. The image is a lot clearer in the footage, but the glare was strong enough I couldn't actually see what she was looking at. So it took me a moment to get to it. There we go. There she is. And I finally did. Unfortunately, the image isn't very good and it makes her look like she's got three eyes, which is interesting because I think I remember Zephy saying something about that image having something, was it an eye appear and then disappear? I don't know, but she's got three eyes in my footage, so I don't know what to make of that. It was a charming little courtyard and we enjoyed sitting in the space regardless of not being able to access the site more fully. 
This is actually a cactus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Know that. Here it is. They, and they bloom a lot of this. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole set of them. Yeah. Uh, we have to, so we got another place we're going to try and make before they close. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, I have no service. Here they are, these dorms. Isn't it great? So cute. Almost. Throughout this maze of ancient cobbled streets are all these alley cats. Yeah. Hi, Kitty. The image of Patmos for me is burned into my brain with these tight stone alleys with stuccoed buildings peppered with a stray cat around every corner. And then we headed back to the taxi station so that we could take a taxi to another monastery. It was far enough away, it just wasn't worth walking. So we hired these taxis and... I don't even know how to explain our taxi ride. The footage isn't doing it justice. The entire trip up the hill was an experiment in centrifugal force. Uh, the, the turns were almost hairpin as we made our way zigzagging up and up, 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 and the taxi drivers were really familiar with these roads, so they were zipping along as fast as they possibly could. And the three of us, in each taxi there were three of us, and we were getting shoved from one side of the taxi to the other as we ran around these turns. And cars and motorcycles would be coming down from the other way, and people would be over the line, and they wouldn't see each other until you got just around the curve, and, and, and there were a few close calls. and. It was absolutely thrilling. It was hilarious and it felt like it felt like everything was happening in triple time. Like everything was sped up because it was just so much stimulus stimuli driving up in these crazy taxis. And then we get there. This was a monastery of monks that was built around and attached to the cave where, I think it was Paul, apparently this was the cave that Paul hid in and received revelations. I didn't know we knew where that was, but there's a cave on Patmos where Paul lived in exile, hiding out and receiving, I think it was the books of Revelation. Apparently this is the top of the cave that we are going to be in shortly.
it surprised me to discover that this monastery and this cave are well known enough. There are long lines to get in there. Uh, fortunately, the lines move quickly because people weren't spending a huge amount of time. They just, it's sort of one of those things you see it, you check it off, and you go. So the line moved fairly quickly. As we entered, the first part of the building is a museum. And you go through the museum to get to the cave itself. The, the, there's a chapel in the cave. And filming is allowed in the museum portion, as you can see from these images of the building and the artwork. But filming is not allowed in the chapel, in that cave. So you're only gonna get a very sneak peek. I had to be really careful with my camera. I want you to notice where I place the arrows in the footage because the arrows are reportedly the crevices in the wall where Paul put his head and his hand and sat there and received the revelations. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, <laughs> Are you guys trippy? Are you still like vibrating? But yeah, that I took a picture. Actually, I snuck a picture of it. Yeah, I can't. yeah. Oh, you just set a bad example for her. <laughs> but he didn't say anything. Yeah, so yeah. sorry about how much, how little footage there is, but I had to sneak it. So <laughs> special sneak peek, we literally. Were and I actually took a picture of the. He was talking, so I took a picture of the rock, and it looked like a room. Yes. After visiting the cave, the trip back down the hill in the taxis was just as crazy as on the way up. I am so sorry I did not get any footage, but we were holding on for dear life to get down that hill. While our half of the group was waiting for the other taxi with the other half of our group to arrive back down from the monastery, I noticed this map of Patmos. And I have no idea where we are on that map, but that is the layout of the island that we are currently on. By this point, the sun was setting, and we had a little bit of time left before we had to be back on the ship. So, of course, we spent some time shopping and getting into the shops. I think most of us found stuff that night. We found a lot of stuff. There was a lot of shopping on this trip. Oh. I'm um, focused. I think he's gonna share. Cat's open. Back on the cruise ship, we made it in time to get some dinner at our favorite table. Wow, yeah. We have the seven everywhere. So. This particular table that we're sitting at, we sort of took it over. We decided that that was our table for our group for the duration of our cruise and the restaurant staff and crowd control docents seem to just decide that yes, that was our table. And <laughs> we'd show up at the door and be like, I'm meeting my group at that table and they recognized us and they're like, oh yep, yep, you're one of that group. It was hilarious because they had some pretty strict rules about groups entering and being seated but we just kind of sort of planted our flag on that table and that's just how it was for the duration of our stay on that cruise ship. Yeah. I was thinking. But I wanted to include some of the 
cruise ship food because it was good food and it was something a little different every night and we had several course meals and the food was presented beautifully so that was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed sitting down after a long hard day of exploring and just getting to eat and eat and eat and talk and share and you know verbally process the adventures of the day. By the time dinner was over, we were pretty exhausted. Carol and I got back to our cabin and discovered this elephant made out of the towels and we each had some sort of power bar, energy bar, granola bar cookie thing on our pillows. So that was our day on Ephesus and Patmos. It was a lot. It was a big day. But Stay tuned because on the next day, in the next installment of Greek Goddess Tour, we're going to be exploring Knossos on the island of Crete and Santorini. So thank you for watching. Thank you my fellow travelers for making this such a wonderful trip and I will see you in the next video.